five good Toronto condo investments you can buy now. This is Yossi Kaplan. Today I'm going to show you five condo investments in Toronto and beyond that you can buy right now. You can invest. In my opinion, they're below market. They got lots of room for appreciation. It means that you can make some money here, okay? I'm Yossi Kaplan. I'm a Toronto realtor and a mortgage broker, and I focus on real estate investments in Toronto and around it. The reason we invest in Toronto is because it's the fastest growing market in North America. We're beating every other city in North America. We got a lot of immigration here. We got inflation. We got all kinds of factors that making prices go up and up and up. I don't see it stopping anytime soon. If you watch my previous videos, you'll understand why. But today I'm going to show you exactly five units you can get now. And in my opinion, you can do really well on. Okay, so let's begin here. All right. So, Yossi Kaplan, Twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. This way you're going to find, you can go to Twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. You'll find everything I got here, whether it's a Nobu or Nobu assignment or three investor condos or what's selling over asking or where to buy, why am I increasing my prices, listings, why your assignment haven't sold, on and on and on, million dollar condos. You get all the information you need in the Twitter. This is everything comes together from all my website, all the videos. It's all siphoned in here. So, start here. Why buy real estate with a partner? Then we got UrbanRealtyToronto.com, which is my main website for pre-construction, assignments, explaining how to deal assignments, explaining what's in the market, how to find units, where are the links, all that stuff is right here. You can go to this side at the bottom here, you'll find links to all the articles on other website and these are direct searches to units. So if you want to see what's available in King West, just hit this King West and you'll see exactly what's available in King West. It's going to open a live search. Every time you open, it's going to be different. It's going to come and it's sorted already by the latest statistics. Okay, so that's what you find. You can also do a zoom here on the map and so on. Uh, next, I'll show you yourfuelluxuryrealestate.com. This is my million dollar plus site. So here you'll see units are available, usually million dollar plus or around there and over. And that's very important because there's a lot of stuff over a million now, so I want to separate them. Uh, Fashion House Toronto Condos, Fashion House Condos Toronto.com. Uh, I'm making a series of websites per building, so this site will show you what's available for Fashion House, give you information for the property manager, security, for condo rentals, anything you need is here, okay? So I'm going to begin, and the first I'm going to show you actually a unit for sale at Fashion House itself. This unit is a one-bedroom unit, 515 on the fifth floor facing south. It's asking 529.9, it's exactly a $1,000 foot because these units are um, come to 530 square feet. So if you see here, this is sitting on top of the keg. This is a typical one-bedroom fashion house condo. The nice thing about these units, they're 530 square feet, where the building was free built right after, which was the Thompson 629 King West. The one room was 450 square feet, and they're going for the same price. So that means a dollar per foot is lower, and you're getting more square footage for your money. Uh, this unit has an L-shaped kitchen, so it's a space-saving kitchen. It's got a nook for a, a bedroom. It's got a nice bath. And, of course, the famous Fashion House Condos pool that is part of your amenities, and you can use that anytime you like. It is fantastic. It's also a really nice gym. This unit, this is the building, and if uh, you want any information of it, you go to the website, Fashion House, uh, the Fashion House website. It's the same picture here. Or you call me, and I'll tell you exactly what's available, how much it is, da-da-da. Fashion House, in my opinion, is one of the best deals as resale on the market right now. You can still find a unit for for a thousand bucks a foot, that's crazy because across the street, King West, B.I.G. Bjork Ingles, King West, selling for sixteen to eighteen hundred a foot. Okay, I made a video a couple few months ago. It's called One Bedroom, One Million, and that video shows you the B.I.G. King West where they're selling five hundred square feet for seven hundred fifty to eight hundred sixty thousand dollars. Okay, so this is same size unit, uh, maybe slightly larger for five twenty nine. So it's. 250,000 to 350,000 less than across the street. That is crazy. It's still the same concrete, okay? So, uh, so that's the first unit. What else I got here in my notes? It's south facing. The link is available. This link here, I'll put it in the comments so you can see. Um, these units tend to go very, very quickly. They get in rent anywhere from $2,200 to $2,400. You can always check condos.ca to see the stats. I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to open. This is live condos.ca I'm going here I'm not logged in I'm just gonna show you I'm gonna punch in 560 King West and it's gonna show me um, it should come up at Fashion House let's see 560 King allow location access sure okay maybe condos.ca is down today no it's not there you go 
fashion house loft. And look at this, there are six units for sale right now. This is the back of fashion house, so the, the Adelaide building, that's why I got a little confused here. So average uh, dollar per foot is showing 1049 the past through 365 days. Remember, today's price be a lot higher and a year ago today will be much lower. So this is average. Average, say, the price was six months ago. That's average because it's counting back 12 months. Okay, so you can see here, you can see here what's available for sale. 539, 795, 795, 849. This is unit 515, as I told you, it's 529.9. It's a crazy price. It's such a good price for one bedroom King West. I can't even tell you. So that's one really good deal. It's probably going to go away in a couple of days, but you know, if you're in the market, you're looking for a good rental unit, it's stay there forever with the famous fashion house condos pool. That's a very good option for you. Okay, I'm going to move to the next one. And the next one I'm going to show you is here. It's not in Toronto, it's at the Copper Club, the Metalworks. This is the Guelph Kitchener Waterloo area. And the reason we're focusing on this area is because it's got a lot of beautiful construction at lower dollar per foot, a very high um, population. You know, these are um, cities that tend to have good population. They make a lot of money. They're very educated, a lot of uh, um, high end industry, programming, fine crafting, universities. So, this is where you get these deals, okay? Here, there's a unit that is going for uh, 339, 339. This is the unit here. Let me see if I can zoom in. This is a 700 square foot unit. 700 square foot unit. So it's a full one bedroom plus dense proper size. 702 square feet for 339.9. Okay, 340. So I'll bring the calculator here. And I'll go 339.900 divided by 700. So 485 a foot. So 485 a foot for this one plus den, and the den you can clearly see it can be closed. Can use a second bedroom. Very good investment unit, in my opinion. 485 a foot. You never get that price in Toronto, and that's something you can do. Now it is not in Toronto, but that's the trick. You got you know um, University of Waterloo there. You got University of Guelph there. You got Google. You got Facebook. You got uh, Blackberry Rim all the engineering Disney coming and grabbing engineers from all these universities so these are very good places to invest in my opinion you'll see a lot more I've been talking about Brantford Hamilton Kitchener Guelph Waterloo these are areas are hot 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 because Toronto is so expensive even all the way to St. Thomas London even Sarnia you know look, people will go it's like everything is for a game now 339.9 okay it's a very small investment very very good you know 20% of 3399 is a lot less than 20% of 700,000 okay and you're not gonna find this condo 700 square feet in Toronto for 700,000 you'll find it for 800,000 maybe a million if it's in a fancy building think about this okay so that's the one that's a unit here from the developer size 702 square feet 1c plus D and if you contact me I'll tell you more about this project I think it's a fascinating project and it's been selling really well. They have a few units left. These are some of the smallest units you can see left. So if you're in the game, um, I think this large one plus den, very, very good value. There's lots of room to growth. Imagine there's still 160,000 room to grow just to go to 500. And you can't even get 500. I just showed you a, a one bedroom. The bedroom doesn't have a window and fashion house. So fashion house is a fantastic value because the rent is so high. But if you strive for cash, or you want to start in, in a less amount, you don't have the deposit, or whatever it is, or you want to start at a second the market and play the appreciation game, that's such a good option, okay? So this is a great option, and I always look at these. These are very, also, the designs of these units is very, very good, and I'm pleasantly surprised how good they're designed. They've really made no mistakes. L-shaped kitchen, everything's stacked away properly. You know, these guys are good developers. You can tell from the plans they've done a lot of effort. This is a similar unit, by the way. See? Okay. So, I have the information for the Metalworks. Um, give me give me a shout and I can show you more. Uh, if you want to see by yourself, it's the metalworks.ca. They're going to open to public soon. I'm still VIP in this thing. And if you want to get the best deal, let me know because I'll get you deals that otherwise you're not going to get. You know, when you go to the store direct, you get retail prices, you get the highest prices. That's how it is. Uh, when you go through me, you always get something extra. Okay, so that is the Metalworks Copper Club. Uh, the next one I want to show you is 57 Brock. 57 Brock is amazing. I used to live really close to it. 
and this is Queen and Dufferin. Queen and Dufferin, so that's Parkdale. Parkdale a few years ago was just a sham, but now it's like the hottest thing in town. I live in Parkdale already. Parkdale was really scary, but I knew it's gentrifying. I had a house there. I fixed it. I flipped it. I sold it. I did it all myself. It was really good. I got a bit of help when I needed, you know, the plumbing and electric, but the rest of it I've done myself. I didn't know what I was doing, but I did it. I made it happen. And these are beautiful design community. 57 Brock is where the old beer store was. So just north of Queen, phenomenal area, beautiful units, a lot of larger terraced units. So if you want like a thousand square feet or 2000 square feet terraced unit in a smaller boutique building, that's where to go. Now, you know, I'm a big, uh, I really love the design communities and the master plan communities, but once in a while you got come into this beautiful design building with a few units, you go, this will do really, really well. I mean, it looks so good. The design is good. The floor plans are good. This is a serious team. They didn't cut any corners here. You know, like I see a lot of floor plans I don't like. This is good. Uh, and there's some good prices here. There's one unit here. One unit, 582 square feet for $582,000. It's $1,000 a foot at Queen & Duffin. Okay? So right here at King & Bathurst, I'm looking at fifteen to eighteen hundred dollar a foot this is a thousand buck a foot that's fifteen to eighty percent less less in just a few city blocks it's still downtown as far as i'm concerned you know it's still great uh one of my favorite neighborhoods i'm going to be moving back to queen west very very soon very very close to here like steps away from this very very good that's my opinion if you can invest if you can buy a large unit here you should consider this because this is a unique building with a large terrace you can make a lot of money on these units because there's so few of them, you know. Now we have so, we've been building these condos for 20 years now. The new range of condos we haven't built since the 70s, 80s in Toronto. So now we have so many condos and so many small units. We want to start looking into two bedrooms, terraced units, large units, fancier units. Because people are saying, you know, like, okay, so many one bedroom. What if I have a kid or two children? Or I've got some money to invest, or I'm downsizing. I want a two-bedroom, I want some terrace, I want some fresh air. So I leave my house, I live in the city, and I enjoy, you know, I live a big house, but I want a 1,000 square feet, or 1,500 square feet, or 2,000 square feet of terrace. There you go, 57 bra. I got the prices, I got the plans, some very nice incentives going on right now. Um, they're not available to the public, but if you ask me, I will tell you what they are and how to get them. Okay, 57 bra, 1,000 bucks a foot today. Um, I don't guarantee you when you see this video, the price will, the units will be available and the price will be the same, but that's what it is now. Okay, moving on. Oh yeah, I'll take a quick break. I'll show you the HuffPost. Uh, you go to the HuffPost Canada Business Real Estate. You get to this site and guess what? Uh, so affordability. So price is becoming very high and that's important to remember because returning to society, I told you that before, there's renters and there's owners. If you can be an owner in Toronto, great. If not owner in Toronto, be an owner outside of Toronto, that's also great. I prefer moving west of Toronto because there's more traffic, more appreciation, more economic boom. So if you go east towards Oshawa, you got problem with GM. They don't know what they're doing. They're slow. I told them to turn the whole thing into a cannabis factory. They're still like thinking they're going to get some electric car company. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, they're just not moving fast enough. They're just too rigid. But if you look west of Toronto, it's fast. It's moving. We got more industry coming. We got a lot of high tech coming. We got a lot of young people coming. We got universities. You know, we got action. We got the, the QEW, the 403. Go west of Toronto. That's where we go. And, you know, Brantford. Hamilton, Guelph, Kitchen, Waterloo, uh, even all the way to St. Catharines, uh, Fort Erie. Those are good places, okay? Those are on the route to the state, so lots and lots of traffic, lots of trade. Like the economic power of Ontario is between here and St. Catharines. Get it? So that's where we stay. Okay, now, <laughs> this is really funny. Worst May on record for Canadian house pricing is Canadian. And then you go here, Toronto New Home sales sort the highest level in 17 years. So which one is it? Is it the worst or is it the best? Is Toronto is doing so much better than the rest of Canada? Well, it does, but it's all it's all together here. You know, Canada is becoming a very expensive place to live. You must claim your stake. If you don't do it, you're gonna be a renter for the rest of your life and you're gonna be at the mercy of someone else. And that's not good. And you're gonna be at the mercy of being able to come up with the rent every month. Instead of the what you want to do is you want to buy your first place, live in it, and then your second place, rent it, or you move out of your first or sell it, make some money, and try to get two. Now you live in one and collect rents from the other. And then you have three. 
and at some point, usually when you have three or four, you start covering all your expenses when you're like in five to ten units. And think about it, it's not that big of a deal really. If you start making so much money, you can just leave your day job. It's a focus on managing your real estate portfolio and improving it every given time. And that's the goal here. We can become completely financially dependent through real estate. 90% of all millionaires in the world, or at least in the Western world, um, you know, just mom and pop, making regular income, but they're smart, they save, they invest in real estate, and they don't buy crap. Don't buy stuff you don't need. Put it aside like I do, even if it's 25 cents. You know, I got a jar, just throw it in, and guess what? Every couple months, I got a jar full of change. But that's a payment. And then another jar full of change, and that's a payment. And you know, like, thank you, Brioche, because they give me really good price in the coffee, and I don't have to spend any money on this coffee. Like, it's so cheap, and I get a free office here. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta find the way to make the investment and to grow and to manage your investment. That's what I do. So you come to me and I tell you like what the good deals and we look at what your av availability to invest. We'll find the best way for you. Okay, back. Uh, I showed you if you if you want to go to the market watch, you see the stats. Just go to the trebhome.com, and then you got the market statistics in red here. And market watch, that's the first link, and that's the page. And then you can go to the quick overview. It's kind of confusing. I don't like it. Just go to the full report or the historic report. If you go to the full report and get this PDF, that's 1906, June 06. And I'll zoom in for you. And this is I usually focus on here on the first page, I'm gonna show you the sales are up and the prices are up. And down here, you get it. all the stats. It's very important because you'll see. What I've been telling you, it's always happening. It's happening. Like it's 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 logical, you know. It doesn't take a genius, maybe I am, but it doesn't take a genius to get this. Okay? Whatever is priced lower comes up faster. That's why I'm showing you all these deals that are like less dollar per foot or less price or high ratio of rent to purchase to increase the ROI and to increase the chance, the potentiality of you making money twice. One is in the cash flows, and second is on your appreciation. When you make the cash flow, that's passive income. Just put it in your pocket, pay against your mortgage, uh, or buy another property. And the appreciation is accumulated appreciation. So at the end, someone paid for you. When you sell, you get a lot of money back, or you can borrow against it. Remember, I'm a mortgage broker. You want to borrow against a property, come to me. I'll help you do that. That's what I do. Um, or you can pay faster, or do whatever you want, but you increase your net amount okay you increase your holdings always increase it always move forward so understand where you spend your money in and put your money where it counts where it grows okay and that's the second report and that's the story in 2019 will probably be higher than ever on record before that's what i expect okay so that's toronto um okay the next on the list, I got 159SW. So this is really good. <clears throat> this is the assignment I have. This is my assignment at 159 Wellesley East Condos. This is a beautiful Altera building. It kind of stands out because it's a corner building, which is really nice. It was an old gas station there before, if you remember. It looks different. It's really gorgeous. It's a really nice building. The units are slightly larger. You know, they still, there's, there's some small units, but most of them are good size. And the one we have here available is a 631 square feet, this one right here. And it's on the middle floor. And it's a perfect one plus den design with parking and locker currently at 631,000. I'm gonna raise the price pretty soon, like towards uh, Labor Day, if we haven't assigned it yet. Uh, we still have about a year to a year and a half on this until you get it. So you're actually getting this unit for a big discount. So let's say you bought this unit for $1,000 a foot. By the time you got your keys, and the building is averaging thirteen hundred dollars a foot. You made three hundred dollars a foot. You made thirty percent value. Ah. So where else can you make thirty percent increase on value in say eighteen months? Nowhere. But in real estate you can. But you know if you were to buy from the developer, the developer will ask for the same unit market price because that's what the developer does. And that's totally fair. You know that's how the game is played. And if the developer has any units, call them and ask, do you have any 631 units or anything in the building? And look at the dollar per foot. Ask the developer, or you can ask me and I'll tell you, what's the average per foot in the building right now from the developer? And they'll tell you it's 1,200, 1,300. Okay, and then you, you got to add the parking, then you got the locker. Another, the calculation number goes even more up. 
but here you got a thousand dollar flat thousand bucket foot park parking lock included beautiful perfect unit this unit with parking lock will probably make you at least 2500 a month and it may make even more because it's a really nice unit in a unique designer building with a really good location okay you're not in a giant building with too many units but you're in a place you can still know your neighbors so it's really nice i really like it so that is 159 SW, 159 uh, Wellesley at Sherborne, right by the Sherborne subway station, uh, 631, one plus den parking locker. My listing. Okay, the next is 488 University. You can just search 488 University OC Kaplan, and this is the page you'll see. And what I have here now in the blog post, you notice I post everything, but the unit we have here for sale right now is a 544 square feet, one bedroom unit. Uh, located on a high floor facing south. Located on a high floor facing south. This unit, in my opinion, will make $45,000 a month on a six months furnished lease. Why? Because doctors and surgeons that make at least a million dollars a year and come to uh, Toronto to work, you know, they need a place to crash. They work, uh, they work uh, hours, they work uh, shifts, they work night and day. They got doctors, God bless them, they have crazy hours. They just want to come home and crash, and that's exactly what they'll do here. So if you want to take this deal, uh, this is uh, 649.5 at the moment, and I think you're looking at four to $5,000 on a furnished lease here. I can't guarantee it, but I'm pretty sure on a six months, which is your minimum, that's what I would do. I would do shorter, just too much headache, and you can make the same amount of money anyways. Let me reconnect the network here. Thank you. Okay. And that's the unit. So 649.5, fantastic unit. This one, you get the keys around September. Just perfect. Okay, this is an assignment. This one and the one I showed you before is an assignment. And that's the fifth unit for today. 488 University, phenomenal location. University in Dundas, this is the building. It's connected directly to the St. Patrick subway. You can come from the airport into this building and not even be outside okay go home go upstairs you got a beautiful sky lobby there you got all the amenities i think we got something like thirty thousand square feet of amenities here in in this building concierge security sky lobby sky club everything you need this is a phenomenal building you'd really be really really happy i think if you own something here um 481 across the street 481 university is well for 650 dollars a foot this is 12. this is 30 percent less than what you'd buy across the street this is a beautiful, beautiful building. Okay, so highly recommend you looking into this. We also have the listing uh, two bath, two bath at King West, which we raised the price. I told you and why I'm raising my prices. We did it um, to cut all the low bidders. I'll show you here. YouTube.com slash USC Kaplan. Okay. Uh, there you go. So this is youtube.com slash SC Kaplan. The latest uh, recent video I put three days ago, why am I raising my prices? And what I explained in this video, the reason I'm raising my prices is because the entire Toronto prices are going up and the rents are going up and it's just not stopping. There's the supply and demand is a problem. Oh, you know, like it, it just does it. Inflation is a problem and immigration is a problem. These are the three main things that make us, uh, make the price go higher. So. I gave you an option of three best investor condo projects, which are large design community, but today I brought you small ones. You can just pick. But this is just one of a kind. Pick this one, pick this one, pick this one. Once you missed it, the price, you know, the next one, the guy says, well, they got a thousand bucks a foot. Everyone around is 15. Why don't I try 12 or 1300 a foot? 20% more. 20% more, 500,000, $100,000. So you can make that $100,000 by acquiring this property before the price go up. Or you can like think about it and not be sure, and then there's nothing else to buy. Now you're forced to spend five eighty nine, five ninety nine, six oh nine, six nineteen for the exact same unit. That happened. Um, I was showing a unit at six oh eight Richmond recently. I wonder if it's here. I think it's somewhere here. Six oh eight Richmond, and that unit sold for five oh nine uh, nine, five oh nine nine, five oh nine. This one here. Okay, this one here was five oh nine nine. And he sold it. The unit that came after that exact same unit in the same building was sold for about 549 40,000 more. And the unit after sold for, I think, 569 60,000 more. 
exact same unit. And all this happened within the framework of something like 30 days or 45 days. So does it make sense to you that the price goes go up by $60,000 at about you know, 12 or 13% in a month or two? No. Yes. Yes, it does. Because the first unit was sold at a great discount. Somebody grabbed it. Then the price goes up. Somebody grabbed it. Then the price goes up again. Somebody grabs it because there's not enough units. So what's going to happen is you can get this unit, 649 that's a cheap price, okay? 159 631 with parking locker. Where can you find one plus then parking locker and a nice floor with view and really good plan? This is an organized plan, very good living here. You know, because a lot of plans are just not good, but this is a good plan for this kind of price. You cannot, okay? So the one person, they'll do it, kind of wake up and say, I can do it. They're doing really great. You can spend $340,000, get 700 square feet here, and you rent it to an engineer. I did a video recently, how to make money off Google and Shopify, this one here. And what I talked about here is making money off Google Shopify engineers, and I showed you how much money they make. And these guys are making like, this is average in Toronto, and then the engineers, you know, they're making 100,000 to 200,000. So we go, we go where the, where the engineers are, whether in Toronto, here at King West, there's a big uh, Shopify building. And then at the well, there's like 254,000 square feet of Shopify plus other companies. So that's where you do it. Okay, so that's, that's what I want you to do. I want you to look at the market, look at how much money you have and go, okay, I'm going to go invest before I call Yossi. I really got to think of where do I put my money? Where do I invest? You know, what are my options? Look here. Do I need to buy with a partner? How to flip a house? Really get, maybe you need to get out of Toronto because you don't have enough money, but make, do the homework and then give me a shout and say, yo, so you know, I have $100,000 to invest. I'm looking for assignment. I want to close soon. I'm looking for a resale. Maybe I'm looking for a long term. I just want to flip. So find me something with a good flip potential and I'll do it for you. Okay. So if you want a good flip potential, buy a pre structure or buy assignment with another year to go. If you want something close, buy a close assignment or buy something you can walk in or if you want to close now because you want to live yourself or just get the cash flows and get the resale okay the last thing i'm going to remind you is when you go to urbanrealtytoronto.com and then you scroll to the bottom you get all the links so you want to see what's available at south core or any of these areas simply hit this button here the link and it'll show you exactly what's available and then from here you can use the filters and filter even more, you know, according to price range or everything. I already did the math for you and everything. And you can make, you can basically create any search you like. Okay? This is Yossi Kaplan. Today I told you about five good Toronto condo investments. Okay? And I'll just do a quick recap here and then we'll close. The first one was the Fashion House Condos at uh, five twenty nine nine. I lost my link here. There it is. Fashion, go to yossi.searchwithyaco. I'll post a link to this uh, 529 530 square feet. This is a good unit. I believe it's a 530. It looks like it's one of those. And it's about $1,000 a foot. Fantastic place to buy because the rents are crazy at Fashion House. And of course, the renter or you will get access to the famous pool. Okay, you can't just pay for it. It's private. And next I showed you is uh, Altera 159SW. It's a fantastic building. The developer, the few units they have, are the prices are up, but we still have an assignment, just the one, with a very good price, a thousand bucks a foot with parking and locker. That's crazy. Then I showed you 488 University, 540, 6495, 6495, um, one bedroom, rent it, and I'll help you if you want. Rent it furnished to a doctor or a lawyer, or executive, or a government person. I would charge them 45000 a month at a six-month lease. I think it's very, very probable. Okay? You can't get anything in Shangri-La for 5000 That's next to Shangri-La. Shangri-La is 180 University. Across the street, 41 University is 1400 No, 1650 a foot. This is 12. Okay? Do the numbers. Uh, then I showed you the Metaworks in uh, uh, Guelph, Kitchen and Waterloo. All these areas, Brantford, Hamilton. This is a good example because that specific unit is really good. That's 702 square feet at 339.9. That's 340,000, 485 square, $45 foot. Okay. Uh, then I showed you maybe my favorite. Well, they're all my favorite. I love them all. 57 Brock, really cool building. Queen West, 
where the uh, beer store was. Phenomenal location. Every young hipster want to live here, and if you can afford one of the large penthouses with terraces, you know, this will never repeat. It's just the price is going to shoot up like crazy after, but you can still find a good unit here. 582 square feet, 582,000, that's a thousand bucks a foot. Okay, that's what I got for today. Any questions, call Yossi Kaplan. That's it.